April's super pink moon is the biggest full moon of 2020. The moon will be at its closest point to Earth in 2020, and it is called a super moon. First, I'll tell you why super moon occurs. After that, I'll tell you how and where does the moon get its name from. So it takes about 28 days for the moon to complete one orbit around the Earth. And during this time period, once in a month, the moon's orbit is closest to the Earth. It's called perigee. You must have heard the name supermoon. That's when the moon is closest to the Earth. And then the obvious thing is going to happen. When moon is closest to the Earth, there are unusual high tides in the ocean. During this time, the tidal range is greater than normal because fluids are loose and it gets attracted due to the moon's gravitational pull. And this side of the Earth, low tide occurs. Now two weeks later, when the moon is farthest from the Earth, it's called apogee. And this time, the moon's gravitational pull is limited and the tidal ranges are less than their average heights. Now I'll tell you how and where does the moon get its name from. The full moon in April is known as the pink moon because the months March, April, May are called spring months and spring is the season of new beginnings. All kinds of beautiful flowers grow during springtime. When there are two full moons in a month, the second one is called as blue moon. Then there is a harvest moon in the month of October. It is known as the hunter's moon or the blood moon. This is when the leaves are falling off the tree because October is the month of autumn. As the cold weather approaches, it used to signal the tribal people about winter season and the animals becoming fat. Animals get ready for winter by eating extra food and storing it as body fat. So this is the ideal time for the tribal people to hunt and that is how the moon of this time is known as the hunter's moon or the blood moon. Now one thing to remember is that the names of the moon has nothing to do with the moon's actual color. These names were given by early Native American tribes. They kept the name in order to keep track of their hunting and harvesting plants.